Today you're in for a special treat. Dawn's going to be taking over the show today. That's right. I'm going to be talking about something that's going to make your motorcycle journey safer and more enjoyable. We're diving into the top 10 tips every passenger needs to know when they're on two wheels. So let's get started. Number 10 on the list is keeping your phone close to you. A lanyard, uh, this is exactly the one that I use. It keeps my phone easy for me to access and it keeps it secure. So you can easily unlatch it if you need to, relatch it if you need to. The only difficult part is when you're trying to take a picture that's up high, um, the lanyard only goes so far. We'll put the link to the lanyard in the comments below. So number nine on our list is using a GPS. We prefer the Waze app. So it's real-time traffic reported by real-time people. And as a passenger, I can sit back and monitor what the traffic is like when we're going through a major city. Are we gonna hit a traffic jam? Is it moderate traffic, heavy, standstill? What do we need to do? Do we need to reroute? How can we get around this to make our trip more beneficial for us? Number eight on our list, hold on. Hold on to the armrest, hold on to the handles on the sides of your seat if you have them, or hold on to the driver's waist. Be aware of the traffic that you're in and how windy it is. Uh, you can get an unpleasant surprise if you're quick braking in heavy traffic or you get a good gust of wind out on the countryside while you're riding. If you're not aware of your surroundings and not holding on, I learned this the hard way, folks. So number seven on our list is watch out for fatigue. Hey, the driver's doing all the hard work, but us passengers can get tired too. So communicate with the driver when you need a break. Watch out for extreme heat days and just really pay attention to what your body is trying to say. Hydrate, eat, and stretch. So if you have a cup holder, um, I highly recommend the Swell drinking cup. We're gonna put a link to this in the comments as well. Um, it's really great. The only thing you got to do is just pop a little koozie on there just to give it some extra hold in your cup holder. And if you don't have a cup holder, then pull over so you can get some, some fluids in you and uh, to get feeling better. Fatigue is no joke. So being tired on the back of a motorcycle during a relaxing ride can be a recipe for disaster. So number six, hazards. There are a few things that can be hazardous that you should be aware of. Wearing chaps, leather jacket, rain gear, any bulky clothing uh, you want to layer up if it's a colder ride and you need to bundle. Um, it can make it difficult for you to mount the bike. Um, other things that can make it difficult to mount on the bike is injuries. So I can speak to that from experience and having a frozen shoulder um, you know, made, makes it difficult. So you need, really need to communicate with the driver that it's gonna be a tough time for you to climb on so he can hold on the bike with that extra grip. Um, another hazard is to watch out for cell phone charging cords. So I use my phone a lot with the Waze, I may use Google or communication with family members while I'm on the back. Um, remember to unplug those charging cords. Uh, this hazard can cause the passenger to trip and fall off the bike during dismount or even cause the, the driver to drop the bike. Um, so you always want to communicate that very, very well. Number five, keep your balance. Keep your body in line with the middle of the bike. This helps the rider keep balance of the bike as you cruise. So don't bend down to tie your shoes. Gosh, that could be a song. It kind of rhymed. <laughs> Anyhow, don't put your feet down. If you're riding a motorcycle that is smaller and it allows you to put your feet down, don't do it. Keep your foot on the foot pegs. This helps the rider keep the balance of the bike as you're cruising. Number four, don't be distracting. So while me as a passenger sitting on the back, I can take in all the views and I wanna point all these things out to Keith um, and really tell him what we're looking at because he needs to focus on the road and what's ahead of him. Um, but you really have to learn to read your rider's concentration levels. If you're in heavy traffic, riding on super curvy roads, or you're riding in the rain, it is not the time to point things out or to talk about deep conversations about life with the rider. Just let him focus. Number three, put your head on a swivel. Be that second set of eyes for the driver, but keep in mind that doesn't mean to be a backseat driver. He doesn't need a total play-by-play -play of every traffic light and every car that's coming. But while he is looking ahead, you can look further or you can look off to the side. Emerging traffic 
cars looking to change lanes quickly, and animals off to the sides. Uh, we have come across this uh, several times. Um, but be careful not to startle the driver. Screaming, oh my God, is not a good idea <laughs> if an accident is not imminent. And just an extra tip. I know this can be difficult, but it's something I personally am trying to work on is do your best to avoid those hand gestures to the cagers that are not paying attention <laughs> while they drive. Number two, sit still. It's important for the driver to main control of the bike. If you have to readjust your positioning on the back, then tell the driver ahead of time. Important tip in doing this is not to shift around while you are in curves or turns. It's best to readjust your position when on straightaways or in a stopped position. And here we are at number one, tips on leaning. Don't be alarmed when the bike leans to get around corners. You don't have to help the driver by leaning yourself. You can position yourself for the turn by looking over the driver's shoulder in the direction of the turn. Don't lean in the opposite direction because this will cause an uneven distribution of weight on the bike. So if you haven't already, help us out by hitting that subscribe button. I love being the passenger on the back of the motorcycle. I love taking in the sights and relaxing and just get to see everything. Um, but if you have any questions or you wanna share your own tips, drop a comment below. We love hearing from our Two Wheel Buckeyes community. Until next time, keep the rubber side down and ride safe, everyone. See ya. See ya.